Hello everyone, I hope you're having a happy Friday. Welcome to my Happy Friday series, Using What's in Our Stash. Today I'm going to be using a stamp set that I've had for a while, and this is from Tailored Expressions. It's called Joe to Go, and of course it's a coffee stamp. I love my coffee, and so I thought I'd make a couple coffee, well actually three coffee cards. I do have the coordinating dice to go with that, and I also, what goes with coffee is coordinated, or corrugated, paper and so I have this pad I picked it up at Hobby Lobby a while ago and it's a well used pad so I thought I'd break that out and then I'm going to be using three paper pads um, the first one here is a paper pad from Teresa Collins it's the vintage vines and I think this is really pretty because it has a lot of browns and um, coffee colored paper so I thought it'd be pretty to make a card with that next one is a happy day paper pad from Peebles. A lot of fun papers in here, but I really liked the little coffee cups right there that are so cute. I thought it'd be fun to put that in the background. And then for the third pad, it's a older paper pad from my stash, and it's from Crate Paper, and it's called Bloom. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby too, a, while, a long while ago, but I love the pattern papers in here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in and get started and do some stamping. I'm going to stamp um, the coffee cup here. Okay, I pulled out my, my Mini Misty and I don't know why. I should have just used the block stamp, but I did. But maybe I wanted to show off my brand new little bar magnet. I thought I finally got it and this thing is so strong it lifts the whole Misty up and I'm so glad I invested in that. Um, I removed the foam padding under here because these are rubber stamps and then I decided I'm going to do some stamping here. I'm going to stamp the coffee cup four times, which I really didn't need four times, but I always like to do uh, a couple backups, especially with this stamp set because um, it was, as I recall, the last time I used it, it was real hard for me to line up the dies on that lid. So I stamped it a few times just to make sure um, I got that lid uh, die cut out perfect, which I which is a good thing because I ended up having to redo it again. So I'm stamping it four times here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and color them in. To color, I used a Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp the images, and then I'm gonna be using my alcohol markers to color them in. I also grabbed that little cocoa bean that was in that stamp set and then I'm going to use, um, I d ended up not using the little cocoa beans, but I did stamp it and I stamped it with the Memento Rich Cocoa ink, but um, I stamped it four times but didn't end up using it. So I'm just going to color in the, co I'm going to color in the coffee cup part of the, what I stamped, of the image I stamped, and then I'm going to um, go on the second stamped image and then just color in the lid. So I'm just coloring in the coffee cup part and the lid. Because this um, stamp set, the dies that come with it, um, the little coffee covers are dies. So now that I got my little images uh, colored in and cut out, I grabbed some paper and I'm going to get my paper trimmer here and I'm going to trim it down. I'm going to trim it down to three inches long and I'm going to do that to three of the pattern papers that were in that pad. And I'm going to, on the bottom of this, of that top paper there, um, I'm going to do a little layering. And then we need a background paper. So this is a very faint, pale, like an ivory colored paper and I just trimmed it down to five and a quarter by four inches. And then um, here are the three pattern papers that I trimmed down to three inches wide and I wanted to um, do a little bit of layering here. So I just stacked them all together and then I have a um, border die here and it's from uh, paper smooches and I'm just going to attempt to cut all three out at the same time. 
and I'm just kind of positioning it where I want to put it. And then I'm, and I think right there is fine. I know I think about it too long, but it ended up really neat. So I, it did cut out all three papers, luckily. And so what I'm going to do is kind of layer that bottom, bottom area of those pattern papers there. I'm going to trim it down, and then I'm going to take my tape runner, and I'm going to glue that pattern paper on top of that, and then I'll, I'll glue it again, and then I'm going to take this kind of bingo card paper, and I'm going to put that right on top. And I love the way that turned out. I think it turned out so pretty. And I'm going to go ahead, <clears throat> this is my panel that I repaper underneath, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere this whole thing to my panel, kind of offsetting it to the right a little bit. I'm going to trim off the excess here. Lovely. Okay, then I took two more pieces of pattern paper, and I thought it needed just a little bit more extra oomph, I guess you can say oomph. <laughs> um, so I just used my Vintage Photo Distress Ink, and I'm going around the edges of that ivory paper, and then also the two pattern paper rectangles there that I cut out. And I just, I think that looks so much like coffee. Love that look. <laughs> so. I'm taking this pattern paper and, and, and just securing it um, to the pattern paper below it. And I didn't get my measurements right on, so I'm taking my scissors and I'm going to trim it off just a little bit. And then I'm just taking my, um, my blending tool and just finishing off the edge there. Now we're going to stamp our sentiment. Now since these are rubber stamps, which I forever and ever, these and block stamps I get crooked all the time. So this is the sentiment and I decide just to be on the safe side, I'm going to stamp using my Stampamajig. So I'm just going <coughs> to kind of place that plastic part of the Stampamajig on my, my little paper here and then I'm going to position it and then stamp it. And I am so glad that I did this because it just saves me so much time. Okay, got the sentiment stamped, and the sentiment that I did stamp for this one is adorable. It says, we make the perfect blend. And I think my husband likes the coffee just as much as I do, so this card was for him. Okay, now we're going to piece together our little coffee cup. I popped it up with some um, dimensional adhesive there. And then I am also, I need the little cup cozy, I guess you can call it. And so um, after I adhere that lid, I pop that up as well with some foam tape. I decided to go ahead and, and grab some corrugated paper to make the cozy. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me, oy. well the dye that I used was, um, it was the cozy that had a little heart on it, so when you cut it out, it cuts out a heart in the middle as well. So I run that to the big shot real fast, and then pop that out. And I'm not going to use the little heart. I think the card needs just a little pop of color. And so um, what I ended up doing is I, I grabbed um, a scratch piece of paper here, and then I'm grabbing one of my pink alcohol markers and I'm just kind of scribbling it on that paper and then that can be my background for that heart. I didn't want to put too much pink on here. You know guys and pink don't go don't go together so <laughs> I kind of but wanted the little heart to pop so I'm just going to glue that directly behind that cozy with the corrugated paper. It was just the craft color and now pop that up and stick that on top of my coffee cup as well. Cute. Now I thought that little panel needed a little bit more, so from my stash, um, well before I did that, I'm going to adhere this um, 
panel to my card base. And I was debating whether I should pop it up with some foam tape or not, but I just ended up um, using my tape runner and adhered that down to it. Okay, and here's where I thought it needed just a little bit more. So for my stash, I grabbed some twine um, or jute cord. This is real thin jute cord, and I love it. This one's like an ivory color. And I just doubled it up, and I'm going to tie a little bow, and I'm going to put it as close to the coffee cup as I can get it. I'm going to trim off the ends there, and then I'm going to pop this panel up with some foam tape. And then I'll just remove the backing. And then I'll just place that on my card here. Lovely. Now I think it needs a little bit more. And if I, I went for my glitter. I know if it's for my husband. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking, but th this is a um, Nouveau glitter, uh, Crystal Drops, and this is Honey Gold. And I just added it to the inside of the heart, and then I added just three little, three little doodads on the top there. And that was it. That's my first coffee card. I actually made three today, so let's move on to card number two. Now for this card, I decided, well, at first I'm going to stamp my little coffee cup. I'm going to stamp it three times, and I'm using Memento, uh, Memento black ink again because I'm going to be using my alcohol markers, and then I'm gonna skip the coloring and I'll just go straight to die cutting that out. The coloring is really basic. I just use gray, gray colors for the lid and then for the the cut base part. And here, this this little itty bitty die was real tough for me to get centered, but I ended up doing good. I cut those out, and then I took some pattern paper, and this pattern paper is from the Peebles, I believe, the Peebles Happy Day paper pad, and I die cut out my little cup cozy, and for this one, I used the one that had the little coffee bean in the middle, and I popped that coffee bean out. Cute. And I think it needed a little more, so I grabbed one of my, like a chocolate brown marker. And I just decided to, to go over, go over directly on my stamped image. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it, it shows up a little bit underneath. And then I have this chocolate, like it's a, a brown cardstock, and I cut out three of the cocoa beans. Then I'm going to go ahead and pop that cup cozy up and stick it on my coffee cup along with the lid. Right in the center there. Cute. And then the lid too. I love this little coffee cup. I think it's adorable. In my work right next door is a Starbucks and it's so nice because we get all their boo-boo copies so whenever they make a mistake we get to they send it they bring them on over to us so how how nice is that <laughs> okay now I cut out a panel with those coffee cups and then I cut out a frame using some pattern paper and then also the paper behind it has like a crossword puzzle kind of paper and so I cut out a backing for that frame. And then I'm going to take the little steam swirl here. And then I'm going to go turn around and grab my memento, uh, if I can talk, <laughs> my memento rich cocoa ink, which I love, love. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere my little coffee cup right in the center of that. And I just think that turned out so adorable. Now I'm taking a strip of this um, pink pattern, it's pink polka dots, it's a pattern paper, and I'm trimming it down, I'd say maybe about a three quarters of an inch, maybe half an inch, and then I broke out my little scallop edge punch since we're using what's in our stash. I haven't used this in a while, but I just still love it. I love scallop edges, so I cut out 
a strip of this using that brown chocolate brown paper it's cardstock actually and then what I'm gonna do is well, I was gonna glue it to it but I thought I better stamp my sentiment first so I'm stamping the sentiment that says spill the beans and then I'm stamping that I have to use my stamp a jig but um because I didn't want to get it crooked <laughs> but uh, I stamped the sentiments um, spill the beans and then I also took that little cocoa bean that was in the stamp set and then all the way to the right of the sentiment and to the left of the sentiment I stamped that cocoa bean and I'm so glad I used my stamp and jig because I would know I would have got it crooked I went ahead and adhered my little scalloped edge to that that my sentiment piece and then I'm going to adhere my my panel to my card base right in the center that's the one with all the coffee cups and it's so cute and then I'm going to place my sentiment at a diagonal and for it to fit I had to cut it down the middle and I just kind of tucked it right behind my coffee cup and then I'm going to go ahead and pop that whole thing up with some foam tape and then I'll go ahead and secure that right in the middle of my card base. And then I used um, my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and those cocoa beans that I had cut out earlier, die cut out, I'm just going to add three of them down to that bottom corner. And I think it looks so cute. One thing I did notice was my sentiment wasn't as bold as I wanted it to be. So in my stash I had some Nouveau Crystal Drops and these are called um, chocolate fondue and so I went over all the cocoa beans and um, I went over the uh, this I was very hesitant but I went over the sentiment to darken it up a little bit with that with those Nouveau drops and it, it worked out pretty good and then for some finishing touches I went and um, grabbed my white gel pen and I'm going around the bottom part of the frame with some faux stitching because I just love faux stitching and that's it guys that is my coffee card number two and I think it turned out so adorable so cute okay now we're gonna move on to card number three for card number three I, I went ahead and grabbed all my my papers that I wanted to use and I, the paper pad that I was using for this one was the crepe paper bloom and I stamped my coffee cups and then um, to save time I went ahead and colored them and cut them out um, I'm grabbing the sentiment here and this paper that has the wood grain which I think is so neat and then I'm using some VersaFine ink and I'm gonna stamp the sentiment that says good friends or actually good coffee is always best with great friends and I think that is so true I grabbed all of the um, coordinating dice and I'm going to cut those out and then I also from my stash I have these um, fishtail banner dies and I have found one that fit the sentiment perfect so I'm going to just use washi tape to secure that down and I'm going to run all of those through um, through my Big Shot and then while I was at it too I also used um, this pretty little floral paper and for the cup uh, uh, cup cozy I'm going to cut out um, the cup cozy using that floral paper so I'm kind of arranging the way I want my coffee cup to go and then I'm going to go ahead and pop all of those up with some foam tape and so we have our little coffee all ready to go and now we're going to assemble our card I'm taking this pattern paper that has hellos written all over it I'm going to place that in the center of my card and all of these cards by the way are just standard A2 size cards and then I'm taking this black um, floral pattern paper I'm going to position it just to the right of the card here and I'm going from the top to the bottom I'm going to trim off any excess there lovely then I have this pink pattern paper but I think it needed just a little bit more oomph so I had a little bit of this corrugated paper left so I thought I would um, 
I'm going to find a circle die that will fit that pink paper that I cut out perfectly. So I'm going to run that through the big shot and cut that out. And I wasn't worried about the end that I already cut out for my cup cozy for the previous card because I'm going to cut it in half. So I'm just going to kind of place it where I want it on that that pattern paper there and then I'm going to trim off the excess. There we go. Oh. Okay, now I'm going to kind of position how I want my sentiment to go and I think I want it tucked underneath that corrugated paper. So I stuck it right behind there, but then I want to pop that whole thing up with some foam tape. But one more little piece there. I'm going to remove the backing. Then I'll stick that on my little pink pattern paper. Lovely. I love coffee cards. I must have 10 different stamp sets that have coffee cups. I should do this more often. <laughs> I was going to just adhere that to my card base, but then I decided, no, I'm going to pop that up as well. This, the nice thing about this Scotch um, foam tape is that it's, it's not very uh, thick, so if you want to double up, you can. So I decided to pop that up, and then since I had my gel pen out, I'm going to just do some faux stitching around that pink pattern paper. lovely and then for my stash I have these little doodle bug these are little do itty bitty paper clips and um, I thought I'd put a pink one up there but then I I think the brown actually looked nicer a little bit more neutral so I ended up using the brown one I love these little paper clips so adorable and then I'm taking that that kind of vanilla color jute that I had and I'm just going to thread this little paper clip and then I'm going to stick it right up there next to my coffee cup and then tie a little bow. And then uh, trim off the ends there. And then as I was looking at this I thought I needed a little bit more to this card so I ended up making another little coffee cup and I popped everything up and it looks almost just like the one that I had made earlier. And so but I think I need to lift it up just a little bit and raise that coffee cup up. And then I'll tuck it under just a little bit more. And I was happier with the way this turned out. And that's my third coffee card, guys. Using whatever I had in my stash. Um, usually when I use um, my Happy Friday videos, I always uh, use my pattern paper up. I have tons of pattern paper and I just don't use it enough. So... I hope this is en encourages you to break out those stamps that you haven't used in a while, and I hope it encourages you, you to use your paper pads up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, if you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up, and if you're new and want to see more, just subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.